Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about getting a text editor for Ruby. And then we're also going to look at how we can write our first Ruby program and run our Ruby programs from the text editor that we download. Now, one of the cool things about Ruby is you can basically write Ruby code in any text editor you want. So you could use something simple like Notepad or text edit, or you could use like a dedicated environment that was built just for writing Ruby. In our purposes for this course, I'm gonna be using a special text editor called Atom. And this is basically a, a text editor, but it's been designed to support Ruby. And so it's gonna be an awesome environment where we can write our Ruby code. So I'm gonna show you guys how to install Atom. We're gonna talk about setting it up and getting it ready to go. But just a quick disclaimer, like you don't have to use Atom if you don't want. That's what I'm gonna be using for this course. But like I said, you can basically use any text editor that you want to write your Ruby programs. So let's go ahead and install Atom. I'm gonna come down here to my web browser and up here in the URL bar, I just wanna type in atom.io. And this is the official website for the Atom text editor. What this should do is it should bring you to a page for your operating system. So in my case, I'm on a Mac, so it gives me this download for Mac option. If you're on a Windows machine, then it'll give you a download for Windows option. I'm just gonna click this and we'll go ahead and download Atom. When Atom has finished downloading, I'm just gonna go into my downloads folder and I'll just go ahead and double click on this atommac.zip file. And if you're on Windows, you might have to go through an installer process. If you're on Mac though, now you basically have Atom over here. So you just move it into your applications folder and you'll be able to start using it. So I already have Atom installed on my computer, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And once we have Atom open, there's a bunch of different stuff that we can do. Um, one thing you might wanna do when you first get into Atom is go down here into Preferences or Settings, and over here you can configure a bunch of stuff. So you'll see over here on the side we have an option for like Editor. Um, you can also configure like a theme, so you know you can change like what the text editor is going to look like. Um, you, you can do a bunch of stuff over here just to kind of configure Atom to your liking. Uh, in order to be running Ruby programs on here, we're actually going to have to install one thing, which is a package. So over here on the settings page, I'm just going to go over here to this install button. And inside of here, we want to search for a program. It's just going to be called Atom hyphen runner. And essentially what this plugin is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to run our Ruby scripts or our Ruby programs from inside Atom. It's going to make it really easy for us to do this. So you'll see right here, it's just Atom runner and I've actually already installed it, but over here there should be an install button just like you see down here. So click the install button on Atom runner. And once that's installed, then we have everything we need to start programming Ruby from inside here. So now that we have Atom Runner installed, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your first Ruby file. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come over here to file and I'm actually gonna add a project folder. So I'm just gonna click add project folder and I'm just gonna add my documents folder because this is the folder that I'm gonna be working with throughout the course. And I'll just click open. So you'll see over here now we have this little like file explorer window. So that can actually be pretty useful just so we can see like what the different files are that we're working with. So inside this documents folder, I'm actually just gonna click right click and I'm gonna say new file. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file and I'm just gonna call this file draft.rb. So whenever we're creating a Ruby file, we wanna use this .rb extension. And that's basically gonna tell our computer that this is gonna be a Ruby program. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm just naming it draft. So I'm gonna click enter, and now we have our first Ruby file up and running. So what I wanna do now is just write a simple line of Ruby code inside of here. We'll test it out, we'll make sure everything's working, and that way we know we have our environment set up to go for the rest of the course. So over here, I'm just gonna type print, and I'm gonna type in open and closed quotation marks, and I'm just gonna type hello world. And I'm just gonna go ahead and save that. So just print this out. And basically what this does is it just prints a line of text out onto the screen. So now what we wanna do is use that Atom Runner plugin. So remember, we installed that Atom Runner plugin before, and now I can actually use that to execute this Ruby code. So I'm just gonna click Control and R. So Control R, 
and you'll see this is gonna go ahead and run our program. So down here at the bottom of the screen, I actually have this little output window. And you'll see down here that it's printed out hello world. So it's gone ahead and printed out hello world onto the screen. So as long as that's working, as long as the control R was able to run that Atom Runner package and we were able to execute the Ruby code, then everything's set up. We're ready to start going in this course. We're ready to start writing some awesome Ruby code. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.